girls did not want to go back to school the following year because of difficult mathematical formulas and chemistry. And as you all know, students of drama, theater, or chemistry, one of the girls was me. And me, both of us, we were very beautiful girls. We dreamed of having a of life and becoming video victims on Instagram and TikTok. We are being following because nowadays graduates don't get jobs easily. Instead, we wanted to become like the famous Vera on social media. And as you all know, Vera's social media accounts are always full of pictures of big carry for a big where big bungalow houses. Instead, we wanted to be very beautiful. That if we call you sweetie, then you'd immediately feel like eating yourself. One day on 25th December, there was a talent show organized in the chest of our village by a very rich Congolese musician who was keen on developing talents among local villages. He told us that he was looking for video vixens for his upcoming rumba song. For example, Baby Kimula Mimi Nakufa 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 He told us that his name was Papa! Papa! Mabima! He was not told that and handsome. He was short. Where? Well, Kunaribu! Not short. At least he was taller than the ground. In as much as he was not tall, his wallet was tall, dark, and handsome. Papa only spoke in French or Congolese. For example, he told us that if you want to tell a very beautiful girl, I love you. You say, Coupe, Coupe, Coupamba, Mwa. Papa had a lot of money. With gold chains and bling bling. He was so rich. He slapped us with money. We immediately fell in love with the bottoms of our hearts. We were so madly in love with him. So, we agreed to be Papa Mobimbas. And lawfully, illegally, whether, why, yani, come, we stay. He even composed a song that you'd see during our wedding day. Mutu ya kongo ya rukana ndege kutoka kisha sa. Mutu ya kongo ya leta mahari kufanya harusi we. Pewa pesa, longa tazi, ria. He even bought for us new iPhones to take quality videos for the social media, to enhance our dream of becoming video vixens. We escaped home and went to work for him in his music production studio in Diani, Mombasa. The studio was a well-furnished beach house with a big bedroom, with a big bed. Where? Unaribu! It is not called a bed. It is called Kasarani International Stadium for tandem narrative performance. Papa always gave us lots of money, but there was a problem. Papa was never there. We prayed for his attention and presence, but he was never there. We started regretting because we feared the hard mathematical formulas in high school. Yet right now we were busy calculating. The number of times Papa spent with us at home. He was always on business trips and long phone calls and video calls in his private office room within the house. Papa was never there to eat food before eating food. One night, while we were asleep, waiting for him with all the lights off, sleeping sorrowfully, romantically, waiting for Papa to come back home. I felt a very long metal rod lifting my side of the blanket and touching my feet. And I also felt a very hot metal rod lifting the side of my blanket and touching my feet. My blood started
started running like that of a drama patron waiting to be placed number one only for Butwa to place him in no particular order. <laughs> when we sit on the lights and shouted in happiness, darling, surprise! Unfortunately, it was not our husband, Papa. It was two policemen who had two guns who had come to arrest us. The third policeman walked in while holding Papa Mobimba by his waist. While his feet escaped the ground, his feet escaped the ground like a cannon escaping the top of the table. <laughs> Hence, reducing. Noise pollution. When Papa was told to defend himself and write a police statement, he started speaking in French, rounded off to the nearest Lingala language. Papa la la eh, mwenye kamata. Papa la la eh, mwenye kamata. Gandhika statement, Gapunga Mimi Jala, Mario, Leloma Kambo, and the huge policeman opened his bar. And the papa and his papa forgot that he was Congolese and started speaking in Kiembu language from Embu Kangar. Mugabi Umeni Pira Bofi, Nika Bukata Kata. His real name was not Papa Mobimba. His real name was B.M. A.K.A. by Demurume. He was our village mate who was talking us on Instagram and TikTok. He confessed that the huge house he had was an Airbnb. He rented for his business. When the two policemen entered Papa's private personal office, they found fridges. And when they opened the fridges, we were so traumatized by what we saw. The fridges were full of dead bodies, which were terminated by Papa. He was an expert in harvesting human body parts and trafficking. We could have been his next victims, but we escaped. Papa Mopimba was arrested. After his messages to us were tracked on TikTok by our parents with the help of the police officers. We went back to school to work hard in life. We were also taken for guidance and counseling by our parents. We never stopped our dream of dancing for music videos. We will however ensure that you work with the local authorities to make sure that the music production studios you're working with are legally registered with government initiatives like Talanta Hela. Join us now as we dance to our newest rumba video. Kuna rumba shule. Thank you, Natalie. Squared from Long Girls, that uh, brings us to the end of the morning session.